Hey guys, welcome to the quick start and demo video for AutoMute Us. Um, so this video is kind of celebrating our version 3.0 release. Um, and so along with this release, there's a lot of new and exciting changes. But the main thing that we're really excited to announce is we now have the bot officially verified on Discord. So we're running a hosted instance of the bot, um, which for those that aren't, aren't aware, uh, now that means that anyone can just invite our instance of the bot to their server, much like many other Discord bots. Uh, and there's no longer any need to self-host or run the bot yourself, which drastically reduces the installation complexity and just makes it easier on everyone. Um, so really excited to announce that. Uh, and so this video is kind of be going through that process and explaining how exactly you'd, you'd go about inviting the bot and how you'd go about using it. Cool, so first things first, what we're going to want to do is go to the AutoMute Us uh, GitHub repository. repository. Um, so we don't have a website yet. Uh, we have a domain, but we don't have a website just yet. So this is kind of the central location to get all the information and all the updates about the bot. Um, but I'd recommend that you go through and you read the summary requirements, kind of get yourself acquainted with the basics of the bot. Obviously, there'll be a, this video linked right here. Um, but once you've read through and kind of understand the basics, what we can do is you can click this invite link or this GIF right here. Uh, and go ahead and invite the bot to our server. So you'll just select whichever server you want to invite it to. Uh, we no longer require admin permissions, so these are kind of all the enumerated permissions that the bot will require currently or will require in the future. Um, cool, so we can go ahead and authorize. I am not a robot. Cool, and then we're good to go. Uh, so you can just tap back. Again, I'll link this in the description. Um, but cool, so I've actually already added the bot to the server, uh, but now it's in our server, uh, and so we can you know, actually start invoking it. So first and foremost, the prefix is .au. So if we type that, we can see all the different commands that are available to us, uh, as well as we can see the version of the currently uh, deployed deployed bot. Um, and then if we want to look at details for a specific command, then we can type au help, and then the name of the command. Obviously, for certain ones, there's not a whole lot of detail to provide. Um, but that's actually going to be the first command that we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and type .au new, or .aun for short, in the aliases. And that's going to go ahead and start a brand new game. So first and foremost, this is really important. You'll see that the, the bot says that there's no capture link, and you need to click the link in your DMs. You need to have, under privacy and safety in your Discord settings, you need to have allow direct messages from server members enabled. This is really important. The bot sends the link in your DMs so that not anyone in your server can click and link their own capture. It's specifically for you. Um, but you need to have those permissions enabled. Uh, cool, so if we hop over here into our DMs, uh, what we'll see is this block of information that the bot will send you and, you know, all your previous games. Um, if you've never installed the capture before, which is required for running this bot, um, if you've never installed the capture before, you're going to want to click here. And this will just redirect you to the latest release um, of our capture software. So you can also go to that repository. I'll link it in the description. Um, it's under the same, it's under my same project header. Uh, a link in, in the description, but you're more than welcome to build that from scratch, but this just links to the latest built executable for it. Um, it's kind of a large download because it includes .NET, but it makes it a lot easier for everyone to install if it's, you know, included. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to start that up. We'll click more info, run anyway. Um, and so this is just a little bit of a detail. Uh, once you start it up for the first time, then we can go ahead and close it. What happens is Windows registers that AU Capture is a link that should be opened with that specific application. So now, once we've opened it once, and then we just go ahead and close it, um, then when we click on links that have this format, whenever you type in, you know, a new game in your Discord, um, the next time that you click one of those links, it will open up the capture application and it will also link it to the bot. So these links are constructed so that the bot, you know, is able to communicate with the capture and everything gets linked up. So then if we hop back to our test server, um, now we can see that it's actually linked at the text that we're at the main menu, we're running a game. Um, I highly recommend, I should have been in a voice channel when I did this, but I recommend hopping into a voice channel um, and then go ahead and type AU track. Uh, I guess it's general, not test. Um, if you type AU new when you're already in a voice channel, it will automatically use that voice channel. I just forgot, um, but that's how you'd start it in a voice channel. Uh, the reason it's important is because the bot is linked to the voice channel and the text channel. Um, so in theory, you should be able to run multiple games in the same Discord server, but we haven't fully tested that for this uh, 3.0 release. But in theory, it should be possible. Um, cool, so once it's all good to go, everything's tracking, then we can hop into Among Us. Um, and then we'll just hop into a public lobby. It's a terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Cool. So then we see a lot of information pop up here. So it's detecting all these players that are currently in the game. Um, what happened was because my Discord name is Soup, it automatically linked to my in-game name, Soup. Um, so that was some, some simple name recognition. Um, but there's also some functionality now where it keeps, it keeps a mapping of which players are matched to which. 
so for example, if I was actually the purple player, then I would go ahead and click on the purple emoji. Let's make sure he doesn't leave. Um, I go ahead and click on the purple emoji, and then give it a sec, and then it'll link me to the purple player now. Uh, if you were to type show me, which will list all the information that the bot is currently storing about you, um, we can see some random other you know names that were linked to me in this Discord server, but we can see now that it's also associated the weekend with me. Um, so if I were to play another match or start another another match of the bot and I was playing with that same name, then it would automatically get linked up and it kind of keeps keeps a list of all the names that it's used to. Cool. Um, so now the game is the game is starting. We can see if we look over here, I have a server defin and a server mute applied to me now because the bot text that the game started. Can't believe people play with three times speed. It's bonkers. Um, but yeah, anyway, so now it's now it's all functioning. Um, if I were to die, uh, I'm not immediately unmuted. That is a setting that you can you can modify with uh, .aus. You can look at all these settings and, and mess around with these if you so if you so desire. Um, Hey, look, I died. <laughs> uh, but when I'm dead, so when I'm dead in discussions, I'll be muted, so I can't, you know, be speaking to a live players. But during rounds, because we deafen a live players, dead players will actually be able to speak to each other because a live players can't hear with the deafen, so dead players can continue chatting with each other, um, and then it will, you know, respectively mute them during the discussions. They'll still be able to hear what the live players are saying in discussion, um, but they won't be able to cheat and get away with them with some sketchy nonsense. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for showing off kind of how all this stuff works. I hope this is this is kind of clear instructions and, and quick start. Um, yeah, have fun. Uh, good luck out there, everyone. Peace.